So I just drove from upstate New York to New Jersey to attend a soccer game with two of my friends who are also electrical engineers. And after the game, I'm actually gonna have them be on camera with me and I'm gonna, gonna get, ask them what it's like to be an electrical engineer. Uh, so you guys get a different perspective from my friends. Dude, nice car, dude. Is that your car? Oh, electrical engineer. Is that what electrical Chelsea. engineers drive? Yeah, I'm barely paying my bills. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna edit that part out. <laughs> Damn, this is awesome, man. Wow. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's like... <laughs> I don't know if Tyler told you, but we're gonna ask you some questions about electrical engineering today. Oh, no, nah, I didn't know. You didn't know? <laughs> yeah, Do you prepare? No, I did not prepare for these questions. I don't know. Well, all right, we'll go. let's go get some food first. Yo, T, what year you graduated? 2019. 2019. Yeah, what year I also graduated, graduated in 2019. Three, three years, years as an electrical engineer? Uh, a little bit. Automation. Automation. I work in a big industry. Okay. The big pharma industry. No so. way. So, yeah. You sold out. <laughs> sold out, yeah. <laughs> how's, how's three years of working as an electrical engineer? Um, I can't complain. It's, it's good. Uh, <laughs> Bro, you're supposed to like be excited. Oh. Like you're, 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 insp <laughs> you're inspiring the youth. You're inspiring the next generation of electrical engineers. Oh yeah, I love it, I love it. I love designing <laughs> yeah. buildings and <laughs> take it off of me. Yo, Miguel, what are your thoughts on failure? Like, um, let's say you fail an exam or you don't get the internship you want or you don't get the job you want within electrical engineering. What, what, what does that mean? I think failure is an opportunity to learn. As long as you learn from things you attempted and didn't work, it shows, first shows growth that you learn, and second, it shows you to use your head, you know? You're an engineer, you're a problem solver. One thing doesn't work, you try something else. Because uh, I failed so much, not just school, everywhere. It's just part of life. Yeah. Absolutely. And of course it hurts, but I think that failure is the best teacher. Yeah, sure. nothing, nothing better, no better way to learn than to try things and fail, and then the hard way. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, if you were to go back in time, would you still study electrical engineering? Um, I'd say. Yeah, <laughs> this guy, bro. This guy. Absolute pain. So, T, did you have a hard time getting a job in electrical engineering? Okay, cool. It's not hard. What about you? You had a hard time getting a job? I, I'm on the other spectrum. I did have a hard time finding a job. Why, why is that? I don't know. Um, I guess I didn't have that many internships. Maybe the experience. Also, I didn't know anybody. I didn't have connections. Okay. But eventually, I did find one. You know, and, then, and, then you find, and then you find a different one, right? You switch exactly. your jobs. Yeah, yeah. So you could find a job, but to increase the odds of finding a good job, you're saying do internships, network. Of course, networking is probably the biggest one, I would say. Yeah. Because that's, that's how I got an internship. What's the best way to network? Uh, go to conferences. Yeah. Go to your counselors. They usually give you some spots to network at. LinkedIn. You know, that's yeah, LinkedIn one. is huge. So, but you know, Mac and LinkedIn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, don't don't do that. Don't do that. All right, guys, this is pretty much it from New Jersey. Um, hope you enjoyed the advice. So, as you can tell, it's three electrical engineers in here. Uh, didn't really have a hard. Well, Miguel had a hard time finding a job, but eventually you got a really good job. Once you're in the industry. Once you're in. Okay, how much does your GPA matter once you get your first job? They never looked at it. Didn't, they didn't look at my GPA. You don't have to incorporate your GPA into your yeah, resume they just, after your first job. You just need the experience. The experience is the key. Yeah, so the GPA is pretty much just to help you get your first internship slash job. Then after that, no one cares. Unless you're going to grad school, then it matters a lot. Yeah. All right, any last words for my subscribers? I think we're at like 500 subscribers now, which That's is awesome. Good, Thank yeah. you. Yeah, good, luck. Happy. good luck with your future endeavors. Follow my boy, Ali. <laughs> He's got great advice. Great advice. Very knowledgeable. And It'll help you get through whatever problems you have. I, I didn't tell him to say that. Yeah. <laughs> it's from <All> the right. heart. <laughs> Peace, love. Peace, love.